Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I will be doing my little sister's makeup because I was going to do my own. But where I'm going, I didn't really want to rock a neon pink eye, which if you want to... I'm going to the movies. Um, if you want to do that, that's cool, but mm, I don't want to do that. So, so <laughs> I'm going to do her makeup instead so I can still do makeup, but I don't have to do it on myself. So yeah, if you want to watch us do some makeup then please keep watching. So on her face, actually should we do eyes first? We should do eyes first. Fine. We're not doing eyes first. So starting off with her face, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation and this is in the shade 120 and I'm gonna apply this to her face. Okay, the next thing we're gonna go in it with is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This one's actually mine, because she doesn't wear concealer. Okay, she's weird, so. And I'm taking it right back. Okay, the next thing we're going in with is the Airspun, Cody Airspun Loose Powder. And this is the translucent one. This is mine too. Um, because she doesn't use translucent powder, she uses a foundation powder. So that's what we're using on her. What? Okay, look up. Okay, now I'm gonna bronze. I only set the center parts of her face. I didn't set the outsides because we use that matte foundation, so she doesn't really need it because only like her T zone gets oily. Uh, I'm gonna go in with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Bronzer, and I'm gonna take her Elf Angle Brush, which we have the same one, but this one's actually hers, and I'm going to bronze her up. I will blend that out, don't worry. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go in with her blush, which is also the same one as me because she's a copycat. <laughs> and uh, this is Wet Mild Color you Icon told me to get that. in the shade. Doesn't even say, but I'm pretty sure it's pearlescent pink if it's the same one I have, which I'm almost positive it is. Um, on, oh, and on the same brush I have. You told me to get them because you don't try anything else. Oh my god, why is this one so pink? Mine is not oh, like this. I don't like it. You don't like this blush? Yeah, because yours is way too pink. Okay, so the first shade I'm gonna go in with on her eyes, I'm taking my Morphe 35B palette, which this palette is no longer being sold. I don't know, they might still sell it some places, like just to get rid of what they have, but this palette is discontinued. Um, so, but if you wanted something like this, I would get the James Charles palette because it has like a lot of these similar colors in it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go into this shade right here on my Sigma E40 brush. winging it out a little bit okay so I'm gonna take this morphe r39 brush and I'm gonna go into a little bit of this purpley shade down here just a tiny bit to deepen it up I might go over it with a little bit of brown after because we're not really trying to bring in purple it's mostly just supposed to be pinks and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna place it out here yeah, this isn't what I was going for. I'll probably add brown after this. But also just drag a little bit through the crease just to deepen up the crease. A little bit. Continue to wing that out. 
Okay, so I'm going to go in on the outer corner and I'm going to go in with a little bit of puree and a mixture of charmed, I'm sure, and just go in with both of those. And I'm going to add that to the outer corner. Okay, actually, I'm going to go in with just charmed, I'm sure, because some of them seems to not be dark enough. Oh, and a tip for like winging out your um, eyeshadow that I've noticed I do is when I'm winging out my eyeshadow here, I just bring it straight onto the lash line like this, like almost like it's winged liner. And that's where you know to go up. You just go back and forth until it touches the wing line, until it touches the line like that. I'm gonna take the black out of this Jaclyn Hill palette just because there's a black in this Morphe 35B, but it's not my favorite. I don't really think it's that great. Like it doesn't blend too well. So I don't really like to use it. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this black and just dab it right here. Kind of like making it almost like a wing. So you got like this where it's just like the slightest bit. I'm gonna take it and just start taking it up into the crease a little bit. You're almost creating like a little bit of a triangle shape. Okay, now we're gonna go in with the neon color. So I'm gonna take this hot pink shade right here out of the Morphe 35B, and this is the Morphe M166 flat brush. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to pack it on the lid but we're keeping her head back to prevent any fallout from getting all under her eyes close your eyes You're pretty. good we've got that shade packed all over the lid now we're going to take a little bit of this concealer again and I'm going to dab some of that onto her inner corner and this is just going to like brighten it up. I should have done that on the other hand. This is going to brighten it up so that the color will stick a lot better and be brighter. Pencil brush, I don't even know what brand this is and we're going to take that same shade we're taking that hot pink on that morphe r39 brush we used earlier with the black look up and just running that just running that right under her eye. Okay, so we're just gonna go in with the same brush again. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of that Charmed I'm Sure shade right here out of the um, Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. And we're just gonna go in on the, look up, the lower lash line to blow that color out. So underneath is smoky. Okay, so I'm gonna take the In My X uh, Epic Ink liner and I'm gonna do a wing, um, but we're gonna do this off camera cause yeah, we don't need to be doing this on camera. It's too nerve So we did the wing. And we, I took, I don't know why I keep saying we, like we did it, like I did it. I took some of this Wet n Wild Coal Eyeliner and I put that into her waterline and then I also dragged it a little bit on the lower lash line. I'm gonna take this flat brush, this is the Tarte Unicorn Flat Brush, and I'm just gonna smudge that black out so that it's blended and looks smoky on her lower lash. Okay, look up. 
Now I'm going to take her Wet Mild Lash Renegade Mascara and I'm going to put this on her eyelashes. The mascara I'm going to take instead, this is the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. I'm going to coat her eyelashes with that. Okay, now for the lips, I'm going to go in with this NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Ruffle Trim. And I'm going to apply that to her lips. I love Jet screaming in the background. That's really cool. Okay. She has a little bit of uh, chapstick on underneath. So it's going to be a little more glossy and it's not going to be super, super matte. Okay, well that liquid lip is drying. I just realized I never did any highlights, so I'm gonna go in with my favorite highlight. This is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Peach Goddess Highlight. And I'm going to do highlight her cheeks. Get some up here on the forehead. If you have like texture on your forehead, you probably don't want to do too much of this. But it just makes your face look a little more healthy. Um, okay, over top of her lips, I'm gonna take this Estate Lip Icing. This is in the shade, uh, Goodie. I don't really know if this is actually pink. I feel like it's not. Oh, no, I do not like the smell of it. It smells like cake. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look. Hold on. There's the eye. Close your eyes. It's just really cute it's super fun and it's just like a really pretty pop of color but it actually wasn't that hard to do I did the new like a lot of people have been doing this um, neon inner corner look so I wanted to try that and yeah so that's that so yeah if you guys like this video make sure to subscribe to my channel uh, click the thumbs up button and comment if you want um, my social medias will be down in the description box below my Instagram is down there and I post a lot of makeup pictures on my Instagram and some fashion I guess make sure to go follow me over there and yeah hope you guys like this video with my little sister and yeah see you guys next time bye